Hello, my name is Ted. I am a squid, and I was just offered a position as a PhD student at the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology. Wow, okay. So, I suppose, speaking of that, speaking of robots, let me show you something that I've been doing lately. Besides, we're going to play Chibi Robo, by the way, but I've, I've been working on a robot that plays Pong. So let's take a look at that. Uh, let's see. So it's it's been winning. <laughs> it, it wins every time against uh, Atari 2600's AI. I didn't teach it how to play the game. It learned how to play the game. I just told it how well it was doing, and now it's doing really well. So, wow. <laughs> All right. So let's let's check out Chibi Ro. Oh dear. Sorry, I. <laughs> I wanted to open Chibi Robo and I accidentally found a giraffe. Oh no, it's a it's a robo giraffe. You know? I want to make a robot that plays Pong. I made a robot that plays Pong and I I want to play a game where I'm a robot, but not all robots are good robots. There are some there are some evil robots out there. Ugh. Okay, anyway. Anyway, anyway. Chibi Robo. <laughs> so I don't want to play for too long today. You'll notice I'm not wearing my Talking Squid t-shirt. Um, I'm actually wearing a t-shirt that has ramen on it, and, and the ramen also has a wave on it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I, I'm wearing that because I want to go get ramen today to sort of celebrate my opportunity to go to the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology. I'm not entirely sure when I would actually go. I think, oh, I'm, I'm telling them that I want to go to Japan in September, which is coming up real close, isn't it? But because of the ongoing pandemic, it, it's a little hard to tell if I'll actually be able to go into Japan in September. Maybe it'll be next year. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna call it short today because I just have a lot on my mind. Oh, but... Sir, we have a problem. Oh, I've done all the egg training. On the Report. Okay, so we have we have seven eggs that don't want to be part of the uh, the double dozen. Oh, uh, they've gone awol. Uh, away, absent without leave. Absent without leave. I think when I was a kid and I played this game, I had no idea what awol meant, and they kept using the term as if I was supposed to know what it meant. Oh well. Maybe it's all my fault. You know, Sergeant Egg, I'm glad that you can take responsibility to a certain extent. Sure, I was tough on him, but it was only because I didn't want to lose any more men. You did repeatedly tell them that I was a better egg than any of those eggs, and I'm not an egg. I think you might be offending these eggs, Sergeant Egg. But all that did was make me lose him faster. Oh. You know, maybe you should have been training the eggs instead of some random robot you met. What have I done? I'm a disgrace. A soft, boiled, undercooked disgrace. Oh, poor, poor Sergeant Egg. Troops dismissed. You're a disgrace to the name of Free Ranger, and I'm not worthy to lead you. Well, at least he, he sort of called himself out at the end of that, because this isn't the sort of position where you want to talk about how those eggs are a disgrace. They're all gonna leave you. Well, I mean, you are telling them to leave you, so... Hey, that's... Oh, okay, so I, I think they want to, uh, to have the dog tags that I got from the dog house. No, it can't be. I've had those dog tags this whole time. Like the first episode, I got these dog tags. You infiltrated the great hairy monster's lair? Yeah, I did. And, uh, oh, it, it lets me tell. This is the truth. I did infiltrate the great hairy monster's lair. Oh. Pipe down. What's going on down there? Oh, poor Sergeant Egg. How do you get up there? If the eggs can just sort of teleport anywhere, why can't I teleport any? Okay, well, <sighs> I'm complaining. I'm complaining. 
I got Memphis's dog tags. What a bunch of hogwash. Are you okay, Mr. Sergeant Egg? Okay, don't do that again, Sergeant Egg. You remember, Sergeant Egg, when I jumped off stuff during the training, you you said, what are you doing? So when you, if you're gonna jump off something like that, I'm gonna say, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing, Sarge? Let me see him. Have the dog tags, Sarge. Memphis, I'm so sorry. Oh, we've got to have a flashback to uh, his story of losing an eye and Memphis as well. I couldn't save you. I let you down. Forgive me, Memphis. Oh, this is a sad game. You know, I was talking last time about how the frogs in the backyard sort of reflected the married couple, the, the Sandersons. Where do the eggs fit into that? The eggs don't really reflect any aspect of the family as a metaphor for anything. Or, or maybe they do, and I haven't, haven't figured it out yet. We will never defeat the great hairy beast alone. We gotta pull together, men! So do I have to find the ones who went AWOL? I bet I can do that. You're free rangers! You're hard-boiled! Okay, well I'm glad Sergeant Egg had had a coming around. All for one. Okay. We owe a lot to Memphis. Because of him, the great rangers will come back stronger than ever. What if Memphis is still alive? Okay, I seem to remember that part. I was I was about to say, you know. Wasn't Memphis kidnapped by the dog? Just taken away by the dog? If you don't have a body in fiction, then then they probably survived. Get cracking. Resume our training! Okay, when you say resume our training, does that mean you're eventually going to do any training? Because it, it mostly seems to me like I'm the one who does the training around here, Sarge. You survived an operation into Dow's lair! You're a scrawny, house-cleaning robot. You've got a lot of guts. Bolts, too. You've told me that I'm I'm a great egg, that I'm a hard-boiled egg, and now I'm scrawny. I don't like I don't like the Sarge Egg's attitude. But I do like not liking the Sarge Egg's attitude. Help instruct our anti-dog training. Okay, you know, I'm I'm pretty anti-dog as as a frog-related robot. Here, put this on. Oh, oh, I gotta wait. Am I? It's a Dow suit. I'm the dog. I don't like that. I don't want to be the dog. Slap me with a battleship. You're even more hideous than the real Dow. Come on, come on, come on, Sergeant Egg. I'm. I, I've got a, a new dog suit. I can run around in my dog suit and and scare the eggs. Let's do it. When your boundaries below 31, you won't be able to bark, and you will fail. Do you understand? I understand that, mostly. So don't waste your barks. I do not need to hear that again, Sarge. Please, <laughs> please, Sarge. And let's begin. Go, go. Okay, so I want to... They're going to be shooting at me, and I want to bark at them. But I want to save my energy in barking at them. Okay, so I only got two of them that time. And I got to be able to... Well, maybe I can get three at once. Now I can just get once, one at, one at a time. Well, maybe I have enough energy to 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 just sort of keep, keep uh, bar barking at them. No, <laughs> never mind. I cannot do that. Okay, well, uh... Oh, well, I got three at once that time. Oh, your battery ran out, that's it! So that means that your eggs are doing well, because they defeated the dog, right? The, the dog doesn't have to win this training. What, do you, what you did was helpful, but I think my men are still afraid of the great beast. So I gotta, um... And so to make, make them less afraid, you want me to defeat them? I think Sarge, Sergeant Egg has some backwards ideas. Anyway, 
I want to check upstairs and see if that egg is driving around in a in a car. That's what I seem to remember. I mean, we've been looking at that car for a while. It, it's got to have an egg in it sometime, right? Okay, is there an egg? No egg. Oh, there's an egg. There's an egg, everyone. Oh, look at that. We need another hot rod before we can race. Also, I'm a dog. Oh, when you bark, he gets on his on his knees. Oh, oh, I like this game. This is a very strange game. OK, and um, I seem to remember that there's also supposed to be a a, a rocket egg <laughs> somewhere. Well, I'm going to I'm going to try the, the dog training again and then I'm going to call it an episode pretty quick. I, I think it's a nice short episode. Oh, there. There were some eggs. Um, I can't see them now, but there there were some eggs there, I promise. Okay. So let's uh let's do this training again, Sarge. Oh, hold on. I got a charge. I don't want to do that again. Oh. Oh, it's just you, Chibi Robo. Oh, I scared them. <laughs> That's one brilliant disguise. You can't call it brilliant. You gave me the disguise. It, okay, never mind. It's a brilliant. You're you're brilliant, Sarge. You're brilliant, Sergeant Egg. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. This time for sure, Squidlings. <laughs> this time for sure. Listen carefully, everyone. We're going to start our tow training. Care to hear the training instructions? No, thank you, sir. I would I would hate it if one of the eggs was just like, but I want to hear the instructions, sir. And then I have to hear the instructions again because of one of the eggs. Oh, uh, that that would, that would be pretty bad. But but it didn't happen. So so all's well. OK, OK. So many of them right next to each other. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I got three of them and there are only three of them left. I can I can kill them all one at a time. Not kill them. I am not. I'm not killing the eggs. I hope I'm not killing the eggs. All right, you don't run away. Come on. Woo! All army soldiers KO'd. Tau training cleared. Cleared. That was clearly the opposite of being cleared, right? I don't know how this. How, I don't know how Sergeant Egg works. Thanks to you, my men are ready for the worst. OK, they're not they're no longer afraid. Uh, they're prepared to face the great furry evil. Why don't you have Drake Redcrest helping you? And also, thank you for the 66 happy points that just about makes up for all those happy points you didn't give me for all the other training. Oh, and another 66 happy points, maybe a couple per egg? The time for training is over. We got to come up with a plan to save Memphis. You know, on one hand, I, I am in favor of saving Memphis, but we don't have any proof that he's alive yet. And, uh, you know, earlier I was saying in, in fiction, if you don't have a body, they're probably alive. But I don't think the fictional characters should get their hopes up like that. It's time we take the fight to the enemy. Help us take down the tyrannical Tau. You know, we haven't seen a whole lot of interactions between the dog and uh, and the eggs. Mostly just, uh, well, I guess one flashback. But otherwise, the, the dog seems to be leaving these eggs alone. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. So I also want to check upstairs on on Mort, the, the mummy. Poor Mort uh, wasn't able to romance the princess, although the, the princess seems like she really likes the horrible flowers that he kept giving her. This is this is the fun part of the game, just running, 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 running. All right, Mort, are, are you are you are you able to talk to the princess right now? <gasps> oh, oh, cutscene. I, I think that means I'm heading in the right direction. Mort. Talk to the princess. Sigh. 
Sigh. Hello, princess. Where's where's the the angry bear? <laughs> the angry bear. We're supposed to get him nectar at some point. I think I actually did buy nectar, but I am I'm also more concerned about the the about the the mummy. Let's let's talk to the mummy. Oh, there's a crayon. There's a red crayon. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, mummy. You're slightly less interesting to me than a red crayon. I'm gonna go pick up the red crayon. Crayon! Okay, but it looks like I can come up here as well, so. All right, mommy, now that I've found the crayon, let's, uh, let's resolve your princess problems. Oh, dear. Oh. Mommy, <laughs> you, you better thank me once I get up there. I don't think he's gonna thank me. He's not a very thankful mommy. Oh, okay. Now, mommy, now it's your turn. Your garments suggest a worldliness that I only dare to imagine in my dreams. I gotta take off my dog suit, I think. But if I wore that, I'd still be hideous. Come on, mommy. Come on, Mort. Come on, Mort. Okay, so let me let me take this off. But also, I forgot I'm supposed to put the put the crayon away right here. So Mort, because you didn't thank me for coming up here again, uh, you, you're you're pushed back on my schedule. You know, I had to put my crayon away. Oh, thanks, mom. What does mom know? How did how does mom know that that happened? And now I'm gonna pick up a piece of trash. And now I'm going to talk to you again, Mort. So tell me what's on your mind, Mort. A hero and a princess. A time-worn cliché, isn't it? Yes, we all know that story, don't we? But I'm sure Princess Pitts would rather have lovely fresh flowers instead of my withered stems. Didn't, didn't you see what happened last time? Come on, whenever I touch a flower, it dies. If a lovely nectar flower were to bloom here, I'm sure nectar pits... Oh, I, I, I didn't read the rest of that, but I'm sure she'd like whatever flower it was. Okay. So can I... How do I... I think I have nectar, right? Can I put my nectar in here? I, well, I don't have any nectar in here, so I can't squirt any nectar there. Thank you. The dust was unbearable. <laughs> okay. Oh. Sigh. <laughs> there are a lot of lines in this game that you don't get to see because you have to do weird, random things. So if I, for example, squirt him again, is he going to thank me again? The dust was unbearable. Oh, poor, poor Mort. All right. Well, how am I, how am I gonna do the, the, the nectar thingy? I, I, I'm sure I'm supposed to plant. Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to plant the nectar flower. Maybe I'm supposed to plant another kind of flower. Maybe I should look it up a walkthrough, or maybe I should call it quits for today and uh, go get some ramen and celebrate for getting offered a PhD. I mean, I haven't, I haven't gotten the PhD yet, but theoretically, I will have a PhD within five or six years. Cool. I am going to save Telly. Usually, I go back to the Chibi House, but this time, I'm just gonna save. Ready? Then let's go. Not next time. Next time, Telly. Next time, Telly. I think you can tell that I am. I, I'm excited by the concept of going to Oist, but I'm also somewhat nervous, and I, I've I've got my work ahead of me. If I want to go to Okinawa in uh, September, then I'm going to have to have a visa, and in order to get a visa, I'm going to have to do some paperwork, and in order to get the paperwork, I might have to wait, and the waiting is the hard part. So, I need some ramen. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you squiddlings later. Bye bye By the way, I've got a Patreon at patreon.com slash thinkster. I want to thank all these squidlings and elder squids. Thanks.